What's up guys, Kudia Hacker here, and today I basically am answering your questions as promised. Now if people want to email me questions, you can do that at Hacker, C-L-O-U-T-I-E-R-H-A-K-E-R, that's a big one, at gmail.com, and I will answer your questions via video, and trust me, I don't mind doing this, I love, in fact, helping out the community of tech enthusiasts out there that want to do certain things. So the first thing I'm going to answer is basically a YouTube question for this channel and it basically says how do you set your video camera in the corner of your computer show me please well as you can see right now my video is in the right corner of my computer and you can also see it within this video where yes I'm in the right corner now the problem with this is I'm not sure if the user is talking about using Windows 7 to record my video in the right hand corner or use Mac OS 10 so I'm gonna go by and do both. The first thing is that you're you're gonna really want to get some good software to do this, and if, especially if you want to make screen recording um, software out there. So I, I get a program called ScreenFlow, and if you're a student at a college, I'm not sure if it has a student discount, um, but there might be a student discount on this. Let's see if there is. Um, right, uh, oh. Not much of a discount, but you can get a 10% discount for um, for possibly getting that program. Uh, yeah, it's... And as you can see in the corner, there are some not legal ways to get this program, which I don't recommend doing. However, this program is called ScreenFlow, and um, it's definitely a uh, good program here. It is $99, and that's the thing. On Macs, it's, it's a little expensive. There may be alternatives for it out there, and I will do my best to research that and look it up. I'm going to actually be starting a blog pretty soon, blog website, so I'll keep you guys updated with that, and then I can put some some of my videos that I already have in here, just like uh, Chris Perillo, by the way, which you should subscribe to Locker Gnome. It's a pretty cool channel, um, but I'm not trying to advertise for him. Anyways, so as you can see, there's a new version coming, which is actually worth getting out. If you buy this now, it'll come with it free. So... It's really worth taking a look at. You can upload to YouTube using this program. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you. Um, but you can record using a uh, webcam. And you can. it's just a costly approach. If you already have a computer with a webcam built in, you're all set. However, if you don't, if you have like a desktop and you don't have a webcam, webcams can get expensive. And to be honest, I recommend for webcams to get a 720p webcam, which I give away in a giveaway because I honestly I don't care but I'm going to be getting one to record reviews I right now I use my iPhone to uh, um, show my unboxings and all that but the iPhone's good it's just not perfect and I definitely think a uh, something like this would be good too they have a Logitech HD video camera for 30 bucks so that's not bad and I might be uh, purchasing that soon doing a review on that and an unboxing the last time I have to use my iPhone, but anyways, you have to buy one. Um, if I want to get to the point here, if you don't have one to get your video on there, if you have a camcorder, I don't think it'll work out. Um, don't quote me on this, but I don't think if you have like some camcorder, it's better off to get a webcam if you want to record. Now I'm using my Mac webcam in my MacBook Pro built in. So, I don't really even have to uh, get a webcam, but I want better quality. So, the, I have two options. One, buy a new webcam for it. Two, sell this and get a new MacBook Pro with the HD webcam, which I am not doing. And I can't afford. So, anyways, yeah, that's the program you want to get. And you can basically, um, right now I'm using it, obviously. But once you hit record, it'll give you two options, record from screen. I wish I could do a screencast on this, but I can't. Now, if you're just looking to record your desktop on Mac OS X, you can use QuickTime if you have Lion, uh, not Lion, well, if you have Lion in the future, as this video is being published, you'll be able to do it, but there's a QuickTime Player X or 10 uh, that you can just basically record the screen, um, and let's see here, since my screen's already recording, I probably can't, but you can use QuickTime Player 10 to do this. Uh, yeah, so let me look and see how, how this would be. New movie recording. 
Now that that records my desktop, which it's already in use, so you're gonna see some lag. Um, let's see, new screen recording. There we go. Wow. Um, and this will basically record my screen. And if I want to record my video on this while I'm using this, um, for a free way to do it, I could go ahead and learn. Yeah, I could go ahead and I could launch um, iPhoto. Which I don't have installed. What am I looking for? Oh, Photo Booth, I should say. Photo Booth is what you can use to record if you're on a Mac, and you might be you might have luck using this, um, but there might be lag, like I said, with the QuickTime. So as you're recording the desktop, and I can already see a lag here, uh, you can basically hit the screen recorder, record the desktop which right now is going to use an incredible amount of CPU because I am recording the desktop twice. But as you can see, I've got my lower video to the right. I can make it smaller, hopefully. But actually, maybe I won't even be able to make it that smaller. Um, I can add effects. And see, it's already, it's kind of, it's not perfect. But as you can see, I can sort of have a video in my right corner although this is definitely not the best way to go about it so if you want to uh, really record I definitely recommend using the screen flow or an alternative to that because there are alternatives and there are plenty of them out there screen flow for Mac alternatives now it's a free alternative and there's definitely YouTube videos on this but for Mac um, I'm gonna stop recording my screen as you can see, it probably already recorded it and saved it somewhere as my desktop. So, as you can see, it does record the screen. So, if you're just looking to record your screen, this is a great idea. I mean, you can do it for free. But, then again, you, you don't have the luxury. So, there's alternatives to this um, for, for Mac and Windows, obviously. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But there's iShowU HD, there's Screenum. Uh, there's a bunch of these. iShowU HD is pretty good. And they do all cost money, so you're not going to really get out of it if you're on the Mac side, unfortunately. Legally, you're not going to get out of it um, without paying you know, some sort of fee. Because these guys create software, and it should be worth getting, in my opinion. Now, they probably already have it in the Mac App Store, but I show you. Yeah, you can buy it in the Mac App Store for $22, and you probably, you, yeah, you probably definitely can record the uh, webcam. So, yeah, check out um, I Show You. Uh, tell me how it how it does. Uh, basically, it records your screen and you both the audio and the video so hopefully that means that you're going to be able to record now somebody said it was very glitchy so you're taking a risk but you're gonna have to pay for something so get yourself an iTunes gift card and go crazy basically or ask for one for birthday or gift or something like that but anyways as I was saying ScreenFlow is great for Macs and I could have made this video much shorter by doing that right now it's about eight minutes so I'm gonna have to wrap this up really quick with how you would do this on Windows now Windows, I recommend, and it's kind of more, it's kind of ironic, uh, Camtasia Studio for Windows is much more money. This is around $300, but it's professional recording software. If you can't afford it, um, basically what I recommend doing is I recommend this program called Cam Studio right here, which is free. I'll post the links up all. This is a free program. It's very, very, very nice. And I'm not sure right now if you can record the webcam. And look, uh, you can include a webcam movie of yourself and a picture in picture over your desktop. So, I guess they've done some updates with this. I haven't used this in a while. You really, really want to check this out. Cam Studio, open source, it's free streaming. The only problem with this is it's not it doesn't really have a movie editor on there. So what's nice about I show you HD, not HD. Um, what's nice about K 
Camtasia Studios that it has an editor built in so you can really edit your videos on here. On here it's not that well developed and same with ScreenFlow you can you have an editor versus QuickTime you're limited to your editing. So like I said to this user I really appreciate the uh, question and I hope that answered your question. There's several applications that you can get to do this um, but you need to have a webcam and having a camcorder is probably not the best approach. You probably can do it but it's going to take some some knowledge of how to set up a webcam as your camcorder. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to basically add a uh, webcam or a video while you're recording your desktop and definitely comment, rate, and subscribe if this video didn't suit your needs or anything like that or you have other questions definitely drop me an email at cluedyourhacker at gmail.com and I will post a link and everything you want will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching.